Street Fight. Introducing first, from the Dominican Republic, Marty Brown. Cannot wait to see what Eddie Edwards is going to do. We'll find out later tonight. But right now, a score to be settled for the knockouts. A street fight. You see Marty Bell with the baton, the weapon that she used back at Slammiversary to cost Jade the Knockouts Championship. And you know what? She continues to bring it out to the ring, but at least this time, it's legal. It is a street fight, anything goes. And now, introducing her opponent, Jade. Jade not wasting any time. She's got her eyes on Marty Bell, and here we go, a street fight. And, uh, well, perhaps Jade is going to take her time. Anything goes. It's all legal. It's a street fight. No count outs. No disqualifications. You can use anything you want, anything to your advantage. Well, in Pope's opinion, this levels the playing field because now at least Jade doesn't have to worry about playing by the rules as she's done in the past, only to fall victim to Marty and that baton. Who will be celebrating tonight and into tomorrow, speaking of tomorrow, on the next episode of Rock This Boat with New Kids on the Block, Donnie lets out his inner Tom Selleck. One fan goes overboard with the partying. Don't miss Rock This Boat tomorrow, 8, 7 Central, only here on Up. Marty now just throwing some weapons of choice into the ring. That's a uh, baking sheet. Double leg takedown there by Jade. Oh! Thanks. Well, she used that baker sheet better in the ring than she ever has in the kitchen. Yeah, I don't see any of these girls baking. Parker, uh, Pope, talk to me. <laughs> talk to me about a street fight. We always see competitors wear denim. They wear jeans. Is, is there a logic to that? The logic is simple. In a street fight, you really don't want to have on your regular gear because, let's face it, Everything that these athletes wear in the ring, especially for themselves, it costs money, Daddy. Okay, okay. So, you so don't no, get there's, there's no real strategy to yeah. wearing denim. You know what I like to wear? Pro Wrestling Tees. Oh, my. God. Great partnership between yeah. Impact Wrestling and Pro Wrestling Tees. Head over to Pro Wrestling Tees right now and get your Impact Wrestling shirt today. Thank you for that insight, by the way. <laughs> The insight is real simple, man. You don't want to mess up your good gear. No. You might be bleeding in here. Your gear might but be ripped. this is a street fight, okay? Exactly. Take it seriously. It's Jade and Marty Bell. You know Jade's upset because she lost the Knockouts Championship at the Slammiversary because of Marty and the baton. And now the steel chair. Well, here's Marty. the difference, Dad. If Pope is in the ring, I'm not going to be wearing no jeans. And if I do decide to wear jeans, they're going to be for Sasha, Daddy. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I understand. And, oh, I think uh, Marty understands how serious Jade is about this matchup, about this street fight. Pump kick there by Marty. Marty's, she's feeling good about herself. Marty's looking good, too. Stick again in the hands of Marty Bell. Ooh. That's it. Wow, look at Jade. Jade saying, Man, I have another. That's that strong Japanese style. Jade is accustomed to wrestling. Off the time they get hit, Jade it just fire them up. Yeah, Jade absorbed that last kendo stick shot and grabbed oh. it from Marty. Oh. oh! That's one thing I never agree with. Don't drop it until you got it where you want them. The fireworks are still going off here. Here you go. Pick it back up and oh. give it to him. Oh! Oh! Thunderous shots by Jade. Marty has no idea where she is right now. <laughs> yes. I feel like I'm watching Sesame Street. Oh. And Marty's playing the role of Grouch. Should be grouchy in the morning. That's for sure. Perhaps groggy. Perhaps not realizing that she almost lost this match to Jade. It was close. Perhaps desperation alone for Jade to 
excuse me, Marty to kick out at two. Well, Marty know what it means to be in there with Jay, the former TNA knockout champion. She know what that would do for her career, where it would propel her if she can pick up this victory. Pope, these two were best friends. Yeah, I know. They signed their contracts in Impact Wrestling together on the same day. Yeah. They were a part of the dollhouse. They were thrilled to be here together. Oh. And jealousy has led to this. Backdrop into that trash can. Yeah, Marty with the baton. Marty. It all started with the baton at Slammiversary. Will it end with one here on Impact? Who is Jade at? Oh boy, Jade has a nut tuck. How's that for a counter? Oh, you're not kidding. Marty has the baton, but now Jade with the nunchucks. Oh, oh, what offense by Jade. Jade now just standing up over Mark. Jade knows what she can do in that ring. Jade knows that she is the better and more superior athlete. Oh, no, Jade has the baton. To Marty. Jade just threw it down and runs through Marty with a drop kick. She don't need it. What about a steel chair? What a street fight. Oh, no. Jade looking for perhaps a package pile driver on Marty through a steel chair. No way! That's a wrap. That's going to do it. That's going to put an end to this rivalry. Jade beats Marty in a street fight. Hellacious. The winner of the match, Jade. Jade, victorious. She had a plan all along for the nunchucks. It's always good to have a trump card in your back pocket. Big win for Jade.